Good Thursday evening, Southeast Texas. Uh, looking at uh, the Memorial Day weekend forecast, still have a 60% coverage coming up on Saturday. That may be mainly the morning hours. So an improving forecast, at least the way it looks right now, uh, maybe towards the afternoon and evening hours, the rain's moving out as a cold front pushes through the area. So I don't think it's going to be an all-day event. After that uh, weak cold front pushes through, beautiful weather coming up uh, Sunday into uh, Monday here in the Triangle. If you're headed towards the lakes, again, that 60% coverage may be overnight, Friday night into the wee hours of Saturday morning, maybe to daybreak with improving weather during the afternoon. Otherwise, look at those morning lows into the lower 60s with highs, low to mid 70s. Again, that's with low humidity coming up Sunday into Memorial Day. And then if you're headed towards the coast, this 40% coverage over towards Crystal Beach, maybe towards the morning hours, by evening, though, I think mostly activity, at least the way it looks right now, this could certainly change. It's still uh, dicey as far as how these complexes will move through the area associated with this cold front. But right now, I think by Saturday evening, uh, down over towards uh, Crystal Beach, things will be improving. You'll see lows near 70 coming up Sunday morning and Memorial Day with highs near 80. Water temperature right now at 78 over at Sabine Pass. Otherwise, watching up towards our north, and it's going to be interesting to see how these uh, complexes uh, interact and head our way. We're on what you call the ring of fire. The outer edge of high pressure is off towards our southwest, so the flow is something like this around that high. Any thunderstorm activity that holds together could be driven right on into southeast Texas overnight and towards the morning hours. We'll have to watch this very closely. Storm Prediction Center giving us a marginal risk uh, coming up uh, Friday across the area. But again, this may arrive before dawn coming up tomorrow morning, as you can see, if this holds together and if this model is correct. It dives southwards. Pretty good coverage if this is correct and the timing is uh, correct and if uh, this activity does not weaken. A lot of variables, but the trend would be for this to head our way uh, towards the morning hours. Right now, I'll give it a 20% coverage overnight and amp it up to about a 30% coverage triangle, 50% coverage in the lakes area. Could be slower than this, too. I'm not buying this other activity coming in uh, during the late morning, early afternoon hours. We'll just keep it at a 30 to 50% coverage. Again, is that outflow boundary is what it's called. It's a rain-cooled boundary acting like a mini front moving through the area. Is it going to be strong? Is it going to be weak? How far does it go? Does it go all the way to the Gulf of Mexico? That could be a, put a damper on afternoon shower and thunderstorm activity very easy across the area. So a lot of headaches. Then we have to watch for the potential for more activity coming in Friday night into Saturday morning as that front nears our area in conjunction with this trough of low pressure diving into our area as we work on into Saturday. So. Here's the way things are stacking up at this point, and Lord knows it could change, but uh, slightly choppy seas on the Gulf of Mexico for Friday around 1 to 3 feet. Again, the water temperature 78, looking at south winds at 5 to 10 knots. At this point, because of the great uncertainty on how far those showers and storms will sink, go about 20% coverage, but it could amp up after midnight. We'll readdress this later on this evening. About 70 in the lakes to the lower 70s in the triangle could see some patchy fog. 30 to 50 percent coverage across the area, highs mid 80s. Again, if that outflow boundary comes through and it's strong enough and goes all the way into the coastal waters, then we may not see anything in the afternoon. That is the potential for Friday. Uh, so we'll go with the yellow bar day at this point. Saturday, we'll be watching that front near and move through the area. But as you can see, improving weather, if this modeling is correct, certainly by uh, Saturday evening into Sunday. At this point, a 60% coverage of numerous showers and thunderstorms uh, across the area with a yellow bar day. Behind the front, beautiful weather, cooler mornings, and uh, comfortably warm afternoons with low humidity. Monday, Memorial Day, partly sunny, no rain expected. Then as we work on into Tuesday, series of upper level disturbances, no capping and plentiful moisture will give us a 30% coverage. Then we're going to do it all over again. We'll see a trough of low pressure develop in through central Texas, and that will bring numerous showers and thunderstorms, unfortunately, back into the picture coming up a Wednesday into Thursday. 
Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.